Good morning. John Hughes here with John's Morning Focus and today is Terrific Tuesday. Today we continue with our discussion of the disease of the human condition. One that can just absolutely destroy a life, health, relationships, making people stressed and anxious, depressed, fat, and ultimately shortening their lives. We're going to talk about one today that I believe may be in fact the, the most pervasive of all of them and has caused the most misery throughout human existence and that is greed. Greed is the selfish desire for more. So let's talk about that. All throughout human history, wars, murder, theft, rape, torn apart families, corporate greed, political corruption, all these things have to do with an individual or a group's desire to get more than they have at the expense of others. And ultimately, that just wreaks havoc, destruction, misery, animosity, violence, and all sorts of terrible things. On an individual level, a uh, person's greed, just like Gollum in Lord of the Rings, the, his desire to have that ring turned him into a monster. And that can happen to a person as they sell their soul to end up getting more than they have right now. And I'm not a biblical scholar, but we've all heard, and it's often misquoted, so let's get this right. The love of money is the root of all evil. Doesn't say money is bad, because money by itself is neutral. It's important. You are paid for the value you bring to the marketplace with money. You use it to buy your groceries. You, you donate it. It's, it can be all kinds of good things, but to the extent that having more than you currently have, whether it be money or power or prestige or stuff where other people are stepped on and damaged in the pursuit of it, that is where it becomes just a destructive force. Gandhi says, there is enough on this planet for everyone's needs, but not for everyone's greed. So, terrible destructive force, and all of us have stories throughout our own lives where we've seen we've been damaged or perhaps we've caused that damage through our, our desire for more. So what do we do about it? I've come up with at least four things that we can do to help us to put everything in balance. And I, I ask you to send along any ideas and I'll share them going forward. The first one I would say is gratitude. Simply being grateful for the gifts and the circumstances that you find yourself in now. And right now is the key. Greed has to do with more for the future, right? But none of us are promised the future. Gratitude is looking at what is going on right now. And even if it's a bad situation, it could always be worse. In fact, problems in your life are often there to help you grow and become stronger and perhaps help another person going forward. Did you take a shower? Did you sleep in a bed? Have you eaten something? In this country of the United States, we're more wealthy than 90 something percent of the world. So we have much to be grateful for. Your friendships, your job, the health that you do have, whatever circumstances you've got, that's all you've got. It is what it is. So enjoy it, be grateful. Gratitude, that's number one. The next, rather than selfishly looking to gain more, think of collaboration. If you're part of a team, how can you participate and give back to that group? It is said that to those whom much has been given, much is expected. So if you've got uh, the ability to come up with extra ideas, or you've got more time or energy or money, participating in that group by giving ultimately will make the whole group better and you will benefit because it's also said that tides raise all ships. Rising tide lifts all ships is how it's said. So collaboration. Uh, and another one would be personal development. If you're not happy with your circumstances and you wish to have more in life, 
then become more valuable to the world in what you bring it by growing and becoming better. The more you put in, the more you can get out. And not necessarily for selfish, but by giving to others, which leads me right into the last one, which is generosity. Everything that you have are gifts, not for you to hoard, but rather to somehow share and make the world a better place by giving your gifts. And it doesn't have to be your money, uh, your, your time. If you've got, if you stop on a corner and you see a homeless guy knocking on the window, if you can't afford to give some money, do so. If you've got a bag of chips, give it to them. But ultimately, giving of ourselves. And I think that's an underlying theme of how to get over greed, being selfish and thinking about ourselves, that the solution is other thinking. What can I do right now that will make the world a better place by doing something for someone else, for my environment, for something outside of me? And there you go. That's my take on greed. And I hope that's helpful. And I would ask you to please subscribe to this channel, share it with others, send in your thoughts and comments, and hit that little bell icon so you can be made aware of any new videos as they come out right away. I thank you very much for being part of your success, and I hope you have a terrific Tuesday. Signing off.